Vijay Kumar Singh is the Honorable Union Minister of State for Civil Aviation and Road Transport and Highways. He represents the Ghaziabad constituency of Uttar Pradesh. Earlier, he was the Honorable Union Minister of State for External Affairs and held independent charge in the Ministry of Development of the Northeastern Region, Ministry of Planning and Statistics, and Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs. Born in 1951, General Singh is an alumnus of Birla Public School and the National Defense Academy. He's a graduate of the Defense Services Staff College, Wellington. He's also a graduate of the U.S. Army Rangers course at Fort Benning, USA, and the U.S. Army War College, Carlisle, Pennsylvania, USA. General Singh was commissioned into the 2nd Battalion of the Rajput Regiment on 14 June 1970. He became the Chief of Army Staff on 31st March 2010 and retired from the position on 31st May 2012. In the year 2011, the General was inducted into the United States Army War College International Fellows Hall of Fame. He is the 33rd International Fellow and the first Indian Armed Forces Officer to be inducted into this college. The veteran officer was awarded the Youth Saver Medal for the operations as part of the Indian Peacekeeping Force, IPKF, in Sri Lanka. He was awarded the Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, ABSM, for his distinguished service while commanding a counterinsurgency force in 2005, and the Param Vishesh Seva Medal in recognition of his exceptional and distinguished service in the Eastern Command in 2009. General Dr. Vijay Kumar Singh joined the Indian politics on 1st March 2014. He has represented India at several bilateral and multilateral events, as well as special assignments in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and the Caribbean region, as well as Europe. His highly acclaimed autobiography titled Courage and Conviction, an autobiography has been widely read as well. Thank you. The Ch Chancellor, Dr. Anand Jacob Burgess, the Founder Chancellor, Dr. Mrs. Elizabeth Verghese, the Pro Vice Chancellor, Pro Chancellor, Mr. Ashok Verghese, Dr. Abhisham, Executive Director, Dr. Ashan Siddhara, the Vice Chancellor, Dr. R. W. Alexander Jesudasan, Pro Vice Chancellor, and we have uh, Dr. Peter Koning as one of our guests of honors, and Dr. Pablo Gandara as one of the Guest of honors, members of the faculty, members of the board, all the students who are gathered here, a very a good day to each one of you. My congratulations to all the award winners, congratulations to all who have earned with their hard work the PhD, the master's degree, and are graduating from, as class of 2023. It's a great uh, occasion for uh, all of you who, have, who are graduating from this very fine institution. Whatever uh, I read about the institution, it uh, was, I think, less than what I have seen in this short uh, period of coming to this institution. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you are in the armed forces, you develop a bad habit. You make judgments in five minutes. And uh, as you advance in services and your seniority, actually you can make out the worth of any institution in one minute. I spent more than that. And I think uh, what I've seen, it gladdens my heart that you have an institution which has got all the wherewithal to educate and train people for the best of things that they can do in the world. The very fact that you have a number of patents, both international and national, in your name speaks for it. You have uh, subjects which are unique by themselves, especially as I look at the aviation sector. I think this is one institution which is going to see more and more students and I think you should start looking for space for expansion of this university. <laughs> to the students, I would like to say a few things. 
you know when uh, you graduate you earn your degree you feel elated that the degree is there some of you in fact your placement rates are pretty high there is one thing you must remember it is not your marks or degree that count your worth will be judged by people by what you produce how you work how you interact and how you contribute to whichever organization that you go to and uh, today whoever employs you is looking at what you deliver in terms of where the, what the organization has asked you to do and that is what will make a difference therefore there are no shortcuts it's all hard work and i think the hard work that you put in in earning a degree is nothing than what you are going to now experience because that is what is going to take you forward in life learning never stops and that's the second thing i want you to understand if you think that your learning is over in the university i think the other learning is just starting because as you go wherever you are you will learn you will learn from your subordinates you will learn from your peers you will learn from your superiors you will learn from the environment you will learn from whatever additional knowledge you acquire through the books your learning will not stop you will also learn from your mistakes so be prepared to keep your mind open the moment you close your mind there are problems there was a book uh, which i read long time back uh, it was called the law of success it's been ages now that i uh, read that book i don't know whether it is available now or not i'll be, i'll be surprised if it is available there was a very interesting thing that book talked about the book said that our mind our brain is like a transmitter and a receiver if you have tuned it properly and you are looking for positive things you will actually catch positive thoughts if you are only looking at negativity you will only catch negative thoughts which somebody else is emanating and that will count towards the type of success that you want if you are positive you look at everything in terms of what you can do in terms of not banging your head by repeating a failure by going around a problem and this going around a problem is what will take you forward otherwise there are large number of people who keep banging their head and reinforcing their failure they never reach anywhere develop positivity that is the sign qua non of success anywhere that you will go whichever field you will choose each and every one of us should always remember that your families have invested in you a large amount of love large amount of finances large amount of effort to put you where you are today never forget that never forget that in success never forget that in your failure because that support is very important and it is that support that will nurture the talent that you have today the world is changing as i look at it as i see how things are going on for example a uh, 2015 when the startup program started we had about 428 startups which were registered today india is number 3 in the world in number of unicorns that it has startups which have more than a crore business india is number 2 in the total number of startups that you have and india is number 1 in startup starting every day now what does that mean for you especially for the people who are graduating people who have earned their degrees people who have become masters and doctors in philosophy what it means is 
there are opportunities galore where your innovativeness your ideas can fructify with the help of the environment that has been created so don't be shy of trying out what you think will mean success because this is what the whole world is doing now and i'm quite sure things will become even better as the time goes by similarly opportunities are many today you are in a digital world and uh, india uses data which is much more than what the us and china consume our data is the cheapest in the world utilize the digital prowess that you have earned to do what you want this uh, world is really open in this artificial intelligence has got amalgamated and there's a great amount that you can do don't be shy of experimenting people who don't experiment people who only stick to what they have learned by rote are not going to go anywhere you have to be innovative you have to be utilizing and putting into practice what you have learned when uh, i started school the school had a school prayer every school has a school prayer this particular prayer prayer was uh, written by a poet who was called the national poet of india short poem it was a poem that he wrote but it became a prayer where the school is concerned and uh, he was a hindi national uh, poet and i'll just translate it for you because i find that this particular prayer that we did every day till i left the school in class 11 it has had a significant impact on my way the way i have looked at things and the prayer goes like this i'll say the hindi thing first and the english i'll translate it for you ishwar hame samarth bana de oh god make me capable please mark the word oh god make me capable ishwar hame samarth bana de tan man dhan ki shakti se give me the strength of body heart that is the mind and when i start earning the money the resources tan man dhan ki shakti se bane vishv ki seva humse may i contribute to this world may i contribute my services to the world to make it a better world bane vishv ki seva humse दूर रहे आसक्ति से एंड मे आई रिमेन अवे फ्रॉम ऑल द इल्स दैट प्रिवेल इन द वर्ल्ड दैट्स ऑल एंड आई हैव ऑलवेज फॉलन बैक इन टू दिस प्रेयर वेन एवर आई हैव फाउंड इट डिफिकल्ट एनी वेयर इन द लाइफ एंड माइंड यू इन द आर्मी यू डू फाइंड लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज दैट इज वाई आर्मी आई कंसिडर एज द मोस्ट सिक्योलर एंड सिक्योलर इन द राइट वे and uh, let me uh, explain what i mean in a small tent when we are in army we have all the religions we have the church there we have the mosque there we have the temple there we have the gurdwara there if we have troops from any other religion we will put that also and somebody asked me what do you do i said we enter it and we pray for us everybody is same so he was quite amazed and i told him look here when the bullet comes you don't know which god is going to stop it <laughs> so you better pray to all who are available and that is what makes you secular every 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 religion is same every religion talks of same things and that is why in the armed forces you develop a very secular outlook there was a delegation of uh, armed forces officers who went to israel once couple of years back and they were being conducted around they were in jerusalem and jerusalem has got very important religious places it has the church it has a, a very old mosque and it has the wailing wall and everywhere this delegation went they 
stood there, bowed their heads and went away. After they had finished with the wailing wall, the Israeli liaison officer asked them, hey, which religion do you follow? They said, we follow the religion of humanity. Please remember this. We all must follow religion of humanity. That is what is going to take us forward, not the divisions that get created by some people because religion is your personal affair, your personal faith. It should give you strength, but it should not denude your ability to exist in the world. This is a thing which I want to leave with you. And uh, lastly, there is uh, what uh, we always uh, have learned and I again this is a this ended as a prayer in uh, National Defense Academy and that's something which I think you all need to always keep in your heart is a poem which says uh, when things go wrong as they sometimes will when the road you are trudging seems all uphill when the debts when the funds are low and the debts, debts are high when you want to smile but you have to sigh. When you are being pressed down a bit, rest you must, but don't you quit. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.